I would even argue like Ken and Ryu, where like notches could be like super helpful for doing true inputs. Yeah, I could see that. So it looks like we are doing uh, Mega Man versus Inkling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both these players, you know, really known for both these characters. Yeah. Abinago not really going to go for the polish handed this time. I think he's going to go over for the Inkling. Right. In either uh, anticipation for the Wario or just the fact that he thought Inkling was going to be a good pick. I mean, when you have Inkling that can just dash under the pellets, you know, and kind of ignore, like, half of Mega Man's neutral, why not go for the Inkling? Mm -hmm. Yet again, just starting things off kind of slow and neutral, you know, and that's kind of what you have to do against Mega Man, because Mega Man's just going to sit back and I'm, like, well, I'm going to throw out pellets until I can hit you with something, like, more substantial. Mm -hmm. Oh, goes for that ledge trump back arrow. Kamehameha does that so much. You just are so scared of what Mega Man is going to do with the edge that you don't really expect the fact that he'll go for the ledge trump, but he hits that so consistently. All right. And he knows that, like, even if he doesn't, like, get the, the ledge trump back here, like, you're not in a position to really punish him for it. Yeah. Ooh, gets a quick uh, sword hop jump out of uh, Leaf Shield, and then gets a grab out of it. Oh, I love the jump neutral beat from the ledge. It's such an underrated option just because it pushes you back. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it paints you so much. All right. And uh, the worst case, like, it's a win box, too, so, like, they can't really punish you for it. it. Yeah, it's, like, such a safe option to get off the ledge. And if you're shielding, you're stuck in shield right. for however long I say you are. Right. Ooh, Ooh, yep, that Metal Blade run up up tilt going to just clean that first stock up. Only 76% on Kamehameha. Yeah. We've seen Kamehameha clean out so many stocks with that setup, too. So it's one of those, like, setups where, like, just never drop shield when Mega Man has a Metal Blade in hand. Mm-hmm. I like how the Abadango is uh, going for these back airs and these fairs are just trying to push through all these lemons. All right. I mean, the back air definitely seems to be a very good tool to challenge the lemons. Back air is just a good, yeah, a great tool in general. It's so good, so disjointed. You can't really, you can't contest unless you really parry it. We got it again. Kamebe just setting up this huge wall of defense right there. Gets a parry into up tilt, but not getting the sweet spot, so it won't kill, unfortunately. Abadongo with a lot of parries right now, but he's not really able to land anything too significant. He actually gets the Metal Blade dropped down, but I don't know if he was expecting to go forward. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, unless you, like, know for sure it's going to land, and I feel like Abadongo didn't expect it to land, you're not going to get a hard punish off of it. Mm -hmm. And what's really interesting about the way the Kamehameha plays is the fact that he throws out a lot of pellets, so you can't really get that, uh, that roller punish unless it's, like, some really hard read or anything. Right. So that's just one of Inkling's, like, three kill options just taken away from him. So he, he has to up throw up or he has to get the hard read. He has to get, like, that back air off stage or that, like, forward throw at, like, super high percent near ledge. Oh, that was a good uh, uh, splatter shot just to get some ink on him. And then now he's just looking for these back airs, but he's not finding anything. He's at 150. Oh, he's smash. dead. He's Yo. dead is what he is. Yep, taking away zap zap. I say. So three stocks to one already. Kamehameha's right. looking very good this first game. He's just denying all the space that we could have. And yeah, you can't. You, it doesn't look like the really running under pellets was doing much for him. I didn't really see him go, like, low profile any pellets. All right. I feel like he's, like, hesitant to even try to go for a dash just because Mega Man can do so many things off of a pellet. You know, he can, he can short hop uh, jump with, uh, out of pellets and then, like, kind of avoid inkling grab. Yeah, that's true. Right now, Kamehameha's lead trapping is just, it's not a lot, but it's its enough. He'll throw out the pellets, which will just catch the jump. If you need to get up, he can just react to it because pellets have so little landing lag. All right. I feel like this is the first time we've seen Abadongo like, do anything substantial and neutral for the first time in the set. Mm -hmm. And like you said earlier, that pellet just stuffed out the, the roller. Ooh, calling him out, trying to go for an aggressive option with the up smash. And like I said, just calling oppressing the roller with the the jabs back here that should be a two stock for kamehameha yeah. on game one and yet again you see abadongo be like okay that did not work so you think abadongo will switch characters at this point because that inkling was not doing so hot that game yeah the inkling did okay but again just restricting a character one of the character's main kill options is so good and i love seeing like the japanese faces well after game is over like their the reactions i love seeing a lot of people's reaction right. after game is over you can just see them thinking about something all right going over the palutena i think that'll be a better pick right. i think palutena does really well into a uh, not really well but like well into mega man although it could be a little difficult to get past the pellets right. i think what i saw abadango do was whenever he's getting pelleted he'll just like try to mash counter to throw it a little bit back all 
right. and the way that Abadongo plays Politan is he'll be a little bit campy. All right. And maybe if he's like far enough away, he can throw out a quick explosive flame to kind of like punish Pass him, him off guard. Yeah. But definitely he can play a lot better closer space game, you know, and like the mid range where, where he was primarily losing at throughout the game one, like he can now have tools to kind of challenge that. Well, look at the shield pressure. Uh, yep. Uh, not right, but uh, Kamehameha is putting on him. A little quick narrow shield in the back air, and then yet again, he's looking for that edge guard. And wow, I like the, the idea wind there. Yeah, that's so cute. You don't really see, you don't see people go for like win boxes a lot. And even if there are, they're like, well, that was like a positive of the fact that I did this. All right. It's mainly just like, uh, I'm gonna kind of flood if I like know I can kind of cheese with it, you know. Mm. But you know, because Mega Man's love to do the the. The air dodge. The air dodge off stage, you know. Like, if you can wind box them far enough, you know, they might die for it. It's definitely, like, an underused mechanic from Palutena. But I understand because you're like, I would just rather have the F smash instead of the wind box. All right. Or the up smash for, the, like, the two frame. Oh, that big up smash. Lasts forever, too, man. Oh, Mega Man was looking for something off of that metal blade, but not going to be able to quite find it. Tried going for the back air, but gets back air for himself for it. Yep, landing back. They're going to take that first stock here. Abadongo looking a little bit better with the Politana. Um, there we go. Here comes an air train. How much damage do you want? Oh, well, unfortunately, not going to get the third one. Right. Would have liked I to just see an up air. Right. I feel like he went a little bit too far in for that. He gets two down tilts. Are we going to see a third one? No. Oh, my gosh. He is spamming it. Fortunately, the, the perfect timing of the iframes from Mega Man was allowing him to get past the long-lasting hit of down tilt and then just get an up tilt of his own. All right, I feel like Abadongo is maybe feeling himself a little bit too much there. You know, after getting bodied, like, game one, he's just like, okay, I finally got the stock lead, and now I feel, like, a little bit comfortable. And unfortunately for him, got a little bit too comfortable for his shoes. Mm -hmm. And now Kamehameha is finally going back on the offensive, getting some damage back, making this a lot closer than uh, what Abadongo would like it to be. Wow, two quick auto radicals and... You know what? A lot better spacing in neutral. You know, Abadongo uh, can actually pressure him from that mid long range uh, stadium now. Ooh, oh my gosh, he still got it even though he ran all the way over there. That metal blade in the run up up tilt is so potent right. now. I mean, Abadongo was off stage, but he kind of like scooped him up below the stage. Definitely. Like, you're, you're not escaping to ledge. Back air, not going to kill just yet. Explosive yeah. flame throw off to try to get the, uh, the directional air dodge. Yet again, quick nair out of shield. Actually beat out the leaf shield. Oh, he managed to snap on the ledge from that far away. Yeah, like, that is some magnet hands that, like, is in that robotic body, man. Yeah, when you have that character like Mega Man, who you can do the up B, jump, then air dodge, you really do need to test out, like, the very depths of which you can do that. And you can tell Kamehameha has been doing that. But Explosive Flame, like you said, caught him at that mid-range, not really expecting him while he's throwing out something, and he was able to take that first stock, or that second stock. Yeah. Now, only at 60%, you know, this is not bad for Abadongo, but yet again, he can't afford to get hit by any of these Mega Man setups at this point. Honestly. And the fact that it is Politania, you do need, like, one fair, one nail to just get your damage. And like I said, right. gets a bit. Ooh, I thought that was it. He got the, the landing uh, Metal Blade. But mm -hmm. yet again, Politania just kind of being slippery, getting the nair, going for the back air. And yet again, he's just catching all of Kamehameha's options right now. Oh, my God. I thought that might have been it, you know being a little bit too trigger happy with that down tail again. Oh, again, going for that uh, going for that ledge jump, but Abadongo knows to get away from it. Goes for the down smash, but only going to get punished with the grab. I think maybe run up up tilt might have been a little too slow, but I think it would have been worth the idea. Uh, I feel like if he had gone for it and he whiffed it, then like, that would have yeah, been Yeah, he would have died. That's yeah. true. Yeah, if you're not confident, no point like expressing yourself. Great right. parry on the F smash. And you see, you see Abadongo just staying in shield, be like, I do not want to press a button and like go off stage because that's how I'm going to die. Yeah, and at that range, Mega Man is so scary because he could just throw out the, the uh, F smash. He could throw out the, the flame sword or the back air and they'll all just kill. All right. You know what I kind of want to see? I kind of want to see uh, Abadongo go for the, the, the reflector on the, the, the forward smash. Yeah, but it was like so slow and it was coming at him so quick. It was like if yeah. you messed up, you were going to die. Yeah. So it had to be like that read. And, you know, you don't really see Mega Man's go for like a charged F smash. All right. We are going to game three, you know, that definitely a lot better for Abadongo, but will he be able to kind of learn from the game two and take the first game of the set, or will Kamehameha clean it out 3-0? Mm -hmm. Already gets a quick uh, nair into back air. Again, down throw back air. 
Ooh, I manages the shield just I definitely in time. I, I wanted like the uh, the crash bomber to blow up a little sooner to see what kind of uh, setups that Kamehameha has. Yeah. But down you know, throw up air. Yeah, you know Kamehameha was just fishing for whatever who's going to go off of that explosion. Oh, well, that was so unfortunate because uh, Kamehameha didn't have a jump throughout all of that. He got he, he got caught doing the down throw up air and Kamehameha, not Kamehameha, Abadango took so much advantage of him and was able to get a lot of damage. But yet again, Abadango kind of struggling to get off ledge here. Manages to sneak in there. Unfortunately, the up air is going to get air dodged through. 158% from Mega Man. Ooh, you saw Mega Man trying to go for the grab and gets grabbed for himself for it and will die. Yep, two stocks. Right now on Kameme. Abadango really needs to make use of this lead because you see when they're at even stocks, Kameme is so good at like bringing everything back. Right. There we go. Double Nair. Back air, 61%, so much damage. Palutena's DP, yeah, damage output is just so insane. Right. You know, and you saw him going for that, like, insane, like, low percent combo. Managed to get a clean 60%, you know, and he almost lapped him in percent at this point, you know. All he needs is, like, a quick, like, grab. But Abadongo oh, getting hit with that up tilt. Um, he almost died for that, yeah, too. Yeah, that was a sour spot. I was so unfortunate. Yeah. You know, Kamehameha really needed that to kill in order to bring the game back. I feel like Abadango's just like, okay, that was a wake-up call. Let me play a little bit less crazy. Yeah, Abadango and I were treating back to, like, the safer the safer neutral. He's throwing out the auto reticle, really good spacing tool. All right, throwing out the auto reticle, throwing out the nares. Oh, close to the F-Smash, but get up attack is such a great idea. Yep. Explosive Flame again, you were call You definitely called it, like, if he's at that mid-range trying to throw out the crash bomb or anything, just quick Explosive Flame, kind of catches you off guard. Yet again, quick fair out of shield, but it's going to get up smash for that. Scooping him up. Yep. Ooh, he tried catching the normal get up, but unfortunately he gets grabbed for it. And yet again, this is where Abadongo is kind of struggling off of getting off of ledge. Mm -hmm. Well, right now, uh, Kamehameha really needs to, not Kamehameha, Abadongo needs to take this stock. And with that nair, we're living, though. All right. Goes Ooh, to run off nair again. Yep. That yeah, the knuckle definitely would have taken to that stock at like 40%. That would have been so scary. Right. Gets a quick fair and then the edge guard going for the nair, and it will yeah, clean that out the Yeah, that one will be good. Yep. And you saw Kamehameha almost live that, it felt like. Mm -hmm. I, would have, I would have been upset with that. So one stock again with Abadongo. You've seen what he's been able to do once he gets that one hit, and now he's going to just try to camp out Kamehameha. That, that's the thing that you see Kamehameha do a lot. So. Right. Uh, I mean, Kamehameha is like a character, like, I can zone you out, I can wall you out. Me approaching, I'm going to struggle with that a little bit. Ooh. Goes to the nair again, but not going to hit. Yeah, he's just getting hit by all these auto reticle shots. You know, each one does about 4%, so getting hit by all three does a good 12%. And it's really just like that angering thing. Yeah. Uh, just gets to, goes to a back throw. I would have liked to see him just run up and charge F's up smash. Just because it would have killed, and the fact that there's so much lag on up tilt if you don't land on like a platform or go to ledge. And you see Mega Man just going for those short hops, like be like, I normal get up, I dare you, because I'm gonna back air you for it. Oh, that, yeah, that Z drop metal blade at the ledge is so good because it hits so many times. You have a lot of time to go for your back air, go for your up tilt, and it's so meaty. It, it's it, yeah, it does a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, gets a quick leaf blade combo. Not going to be able to follow it up, but manages to pop Palutena in the air with those jabs. Oh, no, yeah. Kamehameha's starting to bring this back. You see it. His damage is coming in. Kamehameha's going on the offensive now. All right. Oh, Goes. air dodges, but not getting punished for it. This is so scary. Abadongo knows he doesn't want to drop this, but the way that Kamehameha plays, when you're at, like I said, when you're at that one stock, he's so good at just yeah. bringing everything back. And you saw Abadongo going for, like, I am not retreating the ledge. I'm going to go as far into stage as possible to reset neutral, even if that might mean I get punished a little bit. Yeah, if there was ever that read, like I, like you said, you might want to just start retreating, go for the auto reticle, and then just explosive flame to catch him off guard again. Right. I mean, he really needs this edge guard. Oh, no, that, that could have been the game right there. Yeah, goes that down to just not meaty enough to hit Kamehameha on the neutral get up. Gets hit by the Metal Blade again. Ooh. Oh, hitting him right into it. Like a... Like a baby laughing he's, at him, bro. He's just like, I'm sorry. I stole that game from you. I'm, I'm not going to say he stole it. He definitely worked for that.